Mario! Anyways, hey, we're back. Boss is sitting on the desk. It's Ryuki okay. He was carried to the medical office last night. The fuck happened to him? After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. Is it literally just like a... Stress of regaining those memories? I he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago, he just needs more time. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. Hmm. You are awfully... Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. Ryuki did it once, and we never got any direct you consequence. Said you let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Ugh. But I did find a lead. That'll be a Dolly boat. a boat, huh? But what does that get us exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's got to be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning, and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Boss, you got that. But. I'm over here. You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. So we're re rewinding How back to Jin. Possible? Does this mean that Chikara and Tokiko have been right halved this time too? Oh, uh, yeah, drinking. Wait. How did you know? Peter told me. <sighs> Running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. You're getting old. You should stop cruising bars. <sighs> Could you not sound like my daughter? Daughter? Yeah. Uh, Reveal. Tell me about your daughter. Well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just no one ever asked. We, we need to find out the truth here. This, like, this is the biggest reveal I've been waiting for here. Who is Boss's daughter? Okay, that's enough digging into my private life for the day. Masked woman? Hmm. The shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her! Wait, is she the same? Fuck, I forgot about that. She showed up at the beginning, tried to shoot you here. She also... apparated into Ryuki's route six years ago. And did some ominous stuff. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Why do look so smug when she says that? Hey, Mizuki. Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Was it? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm so sorry, man. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. Boss lady. <sighs> Teenagers. Teenagers gonna be. So, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I think I'm gonna head to the stadium. I'm really curious to see how that goes. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. 
But as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. Roger that, Sergeant. Sheesh. All right, let's bail. <laughs> Fucking bike! <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yuki gets a fucking giant limousine and Mizuki just gets a little motor scooter. Love that. Do your best! Okay, he's gone. The body's been taken away. Of course. The winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. Oh. Does Iba get to be the movie director? Or is it just Thomas' attitude? Oh, hell yeah. I'm replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. Another argument as to why this is meant to be experienced linearly like this is because of exactly this. Like, you could get away with explaining the function again. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, let us begin. The point I am most curious about is how the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Virtual reality activation. Woo! Yeah, let's go get it, girl. Alright. Furman status the corpse. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. I have a raising the roof. The wounds are the cut itself. I got an eye. Could someone else have gotten oh. plastic surgery to look like him? I suggest using the x-ray mode to find out. If there was any surgery, you would see chiseled bone or silicone. There would be internal evidence left behind. Ah, uh, we can you. We can't investigate. Oh, we can investigate you. His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face, nor his body. So you're saying there is no evidence of plastic surgery? It's gin for sure. No signs of plastic surgery. What's this? Halfway line. Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk. What? I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Is this... a tire tread? A bike, maybe? Hmm. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. But there is only the one. A unicycle. So, something with one wheel. This tire track... it looks familiar. Tire track. Alternatively, it could be like the, uh... Okay, so this only shows up on X-ray. Hmm? There's something in the grass. In a weird way, it could be like the uh, the little the little cart thing they push along to make the chalk lines. I think it only has one wheel, and it just spews. Uh, chalk dust and shit.
It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye. Oh. Alright, we got this. Little groove here. Oh. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water. So you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Huh. Machine oil, huh? Machine oil. Is that all we need? That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? I notice we haven't actually addressed the problem of Terror cutting people so cleanly. All of our investigations so far have just been Terror's actions in delivering bodies. That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. Do 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 If it was dropped oh. from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. All right, no other wounds. There was no additional damage to the body. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? That is also unusual. What specifically? If someone was, like, pushing the, uh... Funky Fresh card card... <laughs> Right here, on the halfway line. Tire track? You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? Spinny ring thing, obviously. Do you know about Shoma's robot? That Shoma, that Shoma robot had one wheel. And when you, since you give, gave me this option, like, that might seriously be the thing. What? You know what I'm talking about? Those two hoop things they use in circus shows? Do you mean wheel gymnastics? Yeah, that! <laughs> no, impossible. How would you carry a body like that? Not to mention, they technically have two wheels. Robot. I think it was a robot. Oh, that... The screw we found in the grass. It's also a thing. Oil. And you have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot. But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But... Tire track. Those tire marks looked familiar. Have you seen Choma's robot? Are we going to get to see... High school senior Choma? Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot. Wait. And it carried the body along the halfway line. Ibercopter. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Oh no, we're doing the okay, thing. Okay, Miss Star in the making. I am the director slash cameraman, Iba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? All right, that guy. Yeah. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. 
That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither some job skin. requires showing skin. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. <laughs> Ready? Action! You're so scared. Oh, My God. name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. I did. <laughs> Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. <laughs> Another difference between Tama and Aiba. Aiba has lower acting standards. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this. Hey, there it is. They've produced the right robot model. I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh, this is hard. Ah. Shed. Drip. Oh no. My juices. Things look dicey there, but I got <laughs> it back. <laughs> Thanks, Iva. Balance is hard when you have one wheel. <sighs> I did it. But wonderful. Great acting! I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man Kick. before. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. Use that model for a reason. Very curious. Let's see if we get to see. Uh... Iba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Senior Shoma. Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. So. Fun fact, I've seen, like, the odd screenshot here and there in the past before I ever started this. But I have nothing I might have seen of this to ever confirm if there was, like, grown-up versions of these guys. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. So this is going to be a, this is gonna be an absolute first. Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could oh, she hey. be? Our old faithful. Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furue being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Time for our uh, favorite Nirvana initiative trope. Maybe we can ask going everywhere. We should also head to second. But there too, why? That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? Jesus. All right. Who do you want to catch up with first? Ramen, again. That's so silly, I love it. Hmm, looks rough. What timeline do we have here? Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? <laughs> Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. So... 
anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. Right. X-ray. No one-wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. All right, question time. <laughs> a lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. Yeah. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass, but Leon eats grass sometimes. Well, that's a Leon problem, what not me. What kind of little kid logic is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarted. What kind of robotics engineering? Oh. Hey, Perv, don't look. Right. Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. <laughs> one one wheel robot would not fit in here. Odd protrusion. Oh, it's a picture of Mizu. <laughs> You. There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare I... breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? Mm. No. I Oof. guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. Burned. You don't either. Oof. Poem that was probably written by Komiji. Aww. Is Komeji... Was Komeji the third, the fourth HB victim in this game, in this timeline? That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for! It has two legs. Chris King Trophy. Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. Alright. We just check the fridge. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? I in do. In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. <laughs> You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> <laughs> Let's get going. Any day now. It's at a rooster! <laughs> There's something that's just wonderful about uh, Mizuki's uh, delighted He's the wide manager grin. in the fried chicken shop that Adorabbit works at. Oh my god. The Adorabbit universe that lore. Is a peculiar situation. Adder Rooster managing the fried chicken restaurant. Oh, I just, I completely just realized that. No oranges or robots. Kitchen. No one wheeled robots or oranges. All right. They could also solve this problem by just having Ishoma not appear in the present route, which would be unfortunate. Uh, I don't really want to encounter Lian. Iota, hey, have you seen Shoma? Shoma? Oh, I haven't seen him. Oh, here, Iris and. Spike here, Ota? What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. It works as an aged up design, Shoma I suppose. always comes in alone, and he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Huh. So he's. This is so. This obviously has to be the timeline where his heart does not heal. God. That Do you is... think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? Oh, more videos. More cursed videos. Ultra knows Shoma too. I always introduced them to each other. Oh. Hey, Ota. What's Ota's black sauce? It's our house special soy sauce. That's concerning. Meow. Oh. oh, I get it. If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. It sure helped me be happy. Tessa, maybe if you wanted to change the overhead lights. Why would I want to do that? Pan 
hands out the paper. Oh, 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 that took me entirely too long. That's the recurring thing. Oh, I hate everything. Fuck, the hands still aren't moving. Calendar and me and Tessa. What do they have in common? They both have dates. <laughs> oh, no. Denied. Fortune is written on the colored paper. Hmm. I am much bigger. You mean your attitude? No. Your pride. <laughs> You're desperately trying to keep in check. Iris. She's matured a lot. She's 24 now. She really has. It's really neat to see. That's an adorable grown up design. I love that. Let's wing sink. Eggplant, eggplant, I love eggplant. She's matured. What is that? I am just realizing that is like a. I mean, I guess it's like a winter suit I thing. Love eggplants. Mapo, mapo. I love mapo tofu. Okay, very good. Wingsick. Eggplant, eggplant. Oh God. I love eggplant. Ota's, Ota's grown up and become Makoto Naiki. I love eggplant. Mapo, Mapo. I love Mapo Tofu. You matured. <laughs> Thank you. You're a super popular internet idol at Lemniscate. Oh no, I'm not really that big a deal. Not to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. Hmm. I need to work hard and prepare for the winter. Like the ant and the grasshopper. I've got to leave my mark on the net world. I really want to chug jug with you. I would classify that yeah. as cringe. <laughs> Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. That is kind of sweet. You're still Iris's fan, right? Yes, I'm still Tessa's number one fan, after all. It's my duty to support her. Okay. Yeah. That is good. I name search her on Twitter and defend oh, her. Oh, dude, you're still doing it. Trash. All right, you look. I even use multiple very Ota. so she can rise to the top of trending. I am devoted, day and night. Thank you for everything you do, Ota. Iris, you really shouldn't be adding more fuel to the fire here. Fire! Hot pot, Tessa. Shipping. Freight, crate, Tessa. Airplanes. Height, flight. Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! Mm. You bet! Is that a, is that a successful rebrand, Tessa? As I swear, the first game, it was always, it was always the ASAT game. Not gonna cut your hair? I'm busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. You're really busy, huh? Your, your hair, your head is pineapple. Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. He might want that a bit too much, and that might be a terrible How long is idea. This gonna take? Really? You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well. Yeah, he's he's gonna want this a bit too much, and it's gonna be a terrible idea. I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer, so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. <laughs> oh God. Longer hair does not take longer to cut. Ota, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey. That's actually what Gen from Brahmin said, too. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is going to make my food taste better. Hmm. Besides, I get plenty of customers. You don't look 30 years so. old. I have been making some progress lately. I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. I don't know it says him with his... Uh... You did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young? Honestly, fuck it. Fuck it. Own That's the nerd shit. 
Wear no. your nerd pride on. Don't you mean more like childish? Hey now. Oh, that a. Uh... Stop, Tessa! You're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. Oh, now you made it weird. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. Aye, right, if it works, it works. Nerd A. Put yours up to pride flags, in which case, hell yeah, Ota. Preach. Good old A set pin. Place well, is poppin'. Yeah. With my cooking skills, that's to be expected. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. We did make it six years. You lived six years, so that's you're you're doing something not entirely wrong. Respect there. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Unless Iris, unless Iris is single-handedly keeping you going. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Queues often form out the door. So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Hmm. Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. I don't want to lose to Gen. Why are you two competing anyway? He talks about me like some kind of mortal enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking, not determined to be the best. But I want to prove to him that I'm better, and I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. Phew, that's a... Tall order, my friend, but honestly, fair enough. Uh, Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewCube? I haven't heard about it before. There is a rumor that people who saw it are going missing. <laughs> again. We're doing do it you again. Think it's like that urban legend from six years ago? One of the this twenty time around, it seems like it's really happening. One of the twenty uh like an encoded videos from six saw years that video ago. Too? He could have. Because it was Shoma who solved the BATS 490 code six years ago. Is there a code hidden in the new video, too? Yeah, a much tougher one oh than the God. last. BATS 980. I've been trying to figure it out, but I've got nothing. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind-controlled. Well, that's eerie. Like Project Bluebeam or MK Ultra. B Mortal Kombat? Sorry? Welcome back to you. Six years ago. From Divida? Yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode, and why are you asking me about it now? Well, here's the thing. What if the other half of the body showed up? It must have teleported. It got stuck in another dimension, and half the body got sucked in. The body got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. In a silly way. I'm remembering the old, t the old TV show Stargate SG SG-1, where the... Uh, Like the old Stargate wormhole. If it got cut off while well, you were halfway through it, like you got cut off. You very strongly got cut off. So, could literally be like some kind of dimensional portal where you just stick them in halfway and turn it off and you just go. Jeez, body's cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere. How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? If I may, the questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation. 
Not the question of how the body got cut in half and why we're looking at the other half of the body now. The carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. What I think happened is something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. On the east coast of North America, in the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. I think this might have come up briefly and before. And stuff have vanished without a trace there. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. Some people think it's a miniature black hole. Others think aliens abducted them. There's even one story about a corpse that was found in the area. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. Just a few more. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. Oh, that's sweet of you. It's just a matter of a few of them going missing and leading to uh, the urban legend building up. Ota, you know about the video, right? I hope Shoma is okay. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. Those rumors are true. It could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You oh. think she really understands? I do not believe there is any point in asking. Don't watch that video again, sure. But if another mysterious video shows up, what is Project it's Bluebeam? It's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. Oh, of course. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere. But, but in reality. It's a scheme to take over the world. Of course. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. You can just say Ozymandias. Awesome the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation, and instead unify under a new world order. So this video is kind of the same idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. That's not the same kind of idea whatsoever, though. Per that one of them is perceived threat. One of them is making you perceive a false threat that is meant to unite the world en masse. The other one is just, at best, it's subliminal messaging to make you go somewhere to die. At worst, it's straight up mind control, if it's even anything. MK Ultra is the code name for a top secret project that the CIA okay. was running. Actual mind control now. Different kinds of mind control. Their so-called experiments were inhumane, even torturous. All to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD, and did electroshock therapy, hypnosis, and the results of their experiments were all destroyed. So no one knows anything for sure. Iva, can you show me the video? I have already found it. It is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Nirvana? Can you play it? At once. Nirvana trial. Didn't this one happen in the... Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen Man Rob's ghost. Or at least we've seen that dog. That was a sick jam. You can find toilets. Hmm. 
I didn't get anything from that. But there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, BATS 490, and the QR video. Yes, the video from six years ago linked to Jin Furroway from our investigation. Like, hold up, what's it? Didn't we uncover, like, one of the other 500 coded videos was preceding BATS 490? And it was called the Nirvana Trial. It can't just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. So, like, is this a rewrite? Is that just not acknowledged, or...? Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana Trial video. But it is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. Hey, Mizuki. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. I'm fine. I'm gonna head out and look for Shoma. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah! Got it. I like those two. They're doing okay. Glad they're not together. Ame and QC, baby? No, 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 not them, because they'd be graduate. They're long graduate by now, but I don't want to find the end. Ryuki! Not who I expected Ryuki, to find. What are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. Isn't it obvious? I'm here for the reinvestigation. Reinvestigation. How are you doing? Uh, let's see what's going on inside your head. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ryuki. Uh, yep, yeah, mood. I cannot determine anything from him when he is in this state. That's understandable. You okay? okay? Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier. <laughs> so I'm feeling good. <laughs> That's entirely unhinged from uh, outside uh, Yeah, you should outside perspective. Just head out. It's all right. Oh, God. Because I am here! Half might! <laughs> Half for all! We are full-time heroes! I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys. And if anyone gets in my way... Let it be. He is not capable of participating in normal conversation. He's especially bad today. Well, the way the last few days of... Yuki's path. Student chair. Sometimes you get a bad one that wobbles. The way that he was in the last few days of his path makes me wonder if, like, this is how he came off in normal conversation with other people. Or if this is just worse. Six years ago, the second victim of the HP case was found in this classroom. Takara's right half was on the blackboard. Thought it would be a good place to get some hints, but there are no other leads. I hate some of my teachers. Eh, that, it happens. Some people shouldn't be teachers. The, the teachers who should be teachers don't get paid nearly enough either, so... The good teachers get forced out because they aren't paid enough. Bad teachers get rewarded and... The investigation what? has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. He's trying. But, Ryuki, you're... Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Well, sure. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? Glare. Oh, I know. The shrine. Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. It'll help me calm down. 
Well. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Anyway, there are no leads here. Let's get going. All right. What am I gonna find here? Maybe we'll find Mama here. See what happened with Kizzy. Mame! Oh, Mame? Mizuki, what are you doing here? He honestly does not seem much different. Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. I see. Hmm? Gen knows about Shoma. Before the incident six years ago, Shoma frequented this place. His father must have brought him here. Huh. Bongi. I'm the Shinjuku. Golden Yoga Chair. Alright. I can't wing sync. I can't wing sync with. Oh, I can't wing sync with either of you. All right. I guess you might say there's an elephant in the room. But um. Wow, that was remarkably unfunny. <laughs> you okay? I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern, but I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Oh, oh, something bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? Ota told me about it. All the people who went missing saw some new video that was uploaded to ViewCube. New. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? Nirvana Initiative. Oh. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Aiba? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Well, why are you here? Because uh, I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. Of course, I like the food too. But I like the atmosphere and how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot, and sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice Aww. seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. <laughs> Let me just check one thing. Yes, but yeah, let's talk. Worried about relationships? I'm not human. Kidding me? Do you really even have any worries? Worry about having no worries. Are you kidding me? What? Are you bored? Spending time on board this life. What are you saying? Indeed. Perhaps it is fair to say life is about doing things to cure boredom. You don't seem to have too many worries. Your life seems fun. Keep at it. Live life like that. If you have any concerns, you could come back here. But you do not have to. You can consult a specialist. 
This feature prevents me from being bored as well. I appreciate spending time with you. Oh. Look at me, I'm gonna take oh, pictures of me. food. I'm gonna take pics of food and post them on social media. Mizuki, enough with the typical teenage behavior. <laughs> I guess Amame is like my daughter. Oh yeah, the reason I the reason why I went in here to begin with. Press end. Seeing new designs. Oh duh. We've seen Tama, we've seen Ryuki, 29. Misuki. Hmm. Insults Mama at Marvel about. Oh. Well, that's cool. Dislikes enemies of ASET. Age 30? Seriously? Still runs the diner by himself, still loves Dessa. Still has no girlfriend, still a virgin, still an amazing cook, nothing has changed. Bet. Oh, you told me so. Alright, uh, what was I looking for? Again. Age unknown. That was supremely unhelpful. I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right, your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. When you hit it on... When you try and crack a joke, but you hit it a bit too hard on the head. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. I guess you still have a good relationship. Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw on the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. Hmm. General enough, I can make that work. Where were you last, last night? night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think that was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like <laughs> something a drunkard would say to me. Are there mirror worlds the involved here? Ryuki was saying some weird things too. Customer? When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. Okay, so who was sitting here fucking with Ryuki? The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. The customer ran off spouting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Ryuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go buy miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah. Hmm. It's a weird thing to get mixed up on. Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. Where is Shoma? How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential. I can't tell you that. Well, come yeah, here soon. Do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Oh. Mame has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. 
Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time. I was shocked by how good it was. Probably was six years ago, huh? It was the first time I felt that way since eating Otis food. Oh. Come back competitive. Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. Uh-oh. Why not? It's real. He's a rival. What's interesting is that Gen showed up in... Tokiko Somnium 2. I'm heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? Um, it's okay. I just need some rest. I mean, I'm kind of headed there anyway, so... Mame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Why won't you let me wink sing? Suzuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Or does this actually adhere to the gimmick of one wing sink per per shot? Guess we have to find uh, someone here. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Right. Those look like even character oh. designs. Isn't that Kizuna and Leon? They might know where Shoma is. Let's go. Mm. Oh Hi, no. Two. Big sis. Oh, Kizzy. Oh. Hey, Mizuki. Oh, Kizzy. Of course. My feelings haven't changed a bit. If anything, they've gotten stronger. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. It soars so high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. It's my dream to fly. I remember telling you, so it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man after all. If you're just into the locksmith thing now, then, uh... I want to make enough money to be able to support her. That's honestly really good. That's honestly really good. About six years ago. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. That's understandable. What are you doing here? You can't tell. I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme? It's a date! <laughs> oh, this was a date? Okay, good. I... Mm. Uh, well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace, for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Y yeah, sure. Do you know where Shoma is? I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. Hmm. How do they know each other? Became friends after the incident six years ago. Mizuki was the one who put them together. Shoma lost his father. Okay, so Komeiji's dead. Mizuki thought it would be a good idea to introduce Lian to Shoma to cheer... Nowadays, they're almost like brothers, though it's hard to tell who the older one and who the younger one is. That's a terrible influence. I first met him six years ago. He hasn't changed much. Yeah, that's fair. Younger ones. Grew up. The younger ones are going to be the ones who change the most. Although Mame has probably changed the least of them. We picked up their profiles. Okay. Mame present.
Okay, yeah. Maybe it's, maybe I just found it subtle because they were had the same outfit. Huh? Ginza, of course. Why you ask me the same question? Come to Marvel. Alright. Kizzy's on an electric wheelchair. I get the feeling that she's trying not to make eye contact. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Leanne was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down, so I called her and sure enough. Kizzy sends tingling. I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Not referring to you, of course. Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. Big Sis, Big Sis? I used Sis? to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. Oh. She what? I was shocked. But then, she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. Aww. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. That's powerful. She went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things, to come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together. Soaking wet and laughing, father laughed with us. Oh, I was just lost in that memory. Huh? What is it, Big Sis? Well, uh, oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. As you know, the injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. That is understandable. A fucking bomb. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. I will not be able to dance anymore, like I used to. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. Six years ago, Big Sis. A rather traumatic yep. event. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got eye I got a good partner. Indeed. Oh, is that a false eye? Yeah, something like that. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. Oh, okay. quiet. Aww. <laughs> lively, I see. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know. Damn. Noma. Shoma. Shoma. I, I guess Shoma was a no-show. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Huh? Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. Oh. Wait. Is it my fault? What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well, That's... is that not how you feel about me? Wh what do you mean? 
I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't. What are you saying? She's uncomfortable being seen like this. Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Why not wink sync with her? Hmm. Wow. Wow. Cool pose exists. Oh? I know. Lian, you are only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. I mean, they haven't exactly changed since before this happened. In truth, I feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. And I'm... Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Lian. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Oh. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy. She is assuming Lian's feelings come from a place of pity. What is it? Can I wink sink into Lian too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can we plug you into Mizuki's bike to charge? Can you please? I want to know Lian's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. I'm sorry. Kizzy, I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... So he is feeling guilty. But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You. And I. Forever. Forever. Eternally. Hmm. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds. And guess what? Is that what you want to say? Oh. Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human <laughs> years. I'm not a dog. Anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But... Kizzy... I feel like we need to explain things. There she goes. To Lian. So he doesn't give up. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. Because if we explain to Lian where Kizzy would be coming from, then maybe Lian can, like, help her work that out. We have another job to do find Shoma. Leon is in fact still Leon. There's a tree. Fine. I really want to see if we meet anyone here. Oh. Ma'am? Sorry to bother you at work. Your Jin Furoe's. Yes. I was his nurse when Jinny was here. I call him Jinny because he was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. Uh, uh, he was a very important man, but to me, he's still that little kid. You're the most important nurse we have ever encountered. Uh, is Jin in here? Kizzy. Try to type a beat. Oh.
I feel bad for ever doubting all three. You're like, Bart Kizzy is like <laughs> molding himself into the perfect person who would be Kizzy's husband. That's I mean, it's some, it's better now. Hmm. Back when she was on the verge of graduating, it was really weird, but it's, and it still might draw some questions if like this whole, our whole relationship started then, but now that's reasonable sense of, like it's a four year age gap is reasonable enough but uh, when it's uh, oh we do have more goodies in here don't we hurry and check it out I'm not doing the pose. Oh God! Oh God! I hate all of these. I hate all of these. But spot the differences. Mama. Okay, so this this is definitely a young mama. Add a rooster. Add a rooster is suffering. Show me too. The robot. Oh, there's still a lot of stuff to unlock here. All right. All right, we will leave off here for today. We will try and parse whatever's going on with Jin Fu Day next time, but alas. Yeah, uh, it's a bit more of a reasonable position with uh, Kizzy and... Uh... Kizzy and Lian in this current shape and form. Like I was trying to say, I'm obviously not anyone whose word you should be taking as law in these matters, but for your age gap is a bit more reasonable when it's like in your 20s like this. When the lower end of the four years gets into the teens, then it's, uh... Then it gets questionable because it's a matter of maturity. And getting into that teenage age range gets really concerning. And plus, it like, there was never actually any sort of relationship range with, uh... <laughs> there were actually any sort of relationship romantically between them that wasn't in Leon's head, but so it was my own concern with just Leon reacting the way he did and trying to get into a romantic relationship with someone who was still in high school. That's a bit weird, but it I can, you could accept that it was uh, coming from a better place. Coming from a better place. It's acceptable. It's a weird gray area here. Ah. Uh. But 
yeah, like, if anything, this this six years later incarnation. Lian still being around and still being willing to be there for Kizuna is more meaningful than any of the puppy dog eyes weird stuff he was up to six years from the past. Like, that's the real devotion and the real relationship is when you're willing to, you're willing to show up no matter what, not just when they're singing and dancing and looking pretty. When you're willing to be there for someone at their worst, that's when it's like, that's when it's real shit. And so, willing to accept that Lian is really willing to we'll see what happens I'm gushing about things I should not be until next time, until then <laughs>